Hi, I'm Dan. I'm the CEO of, of Scraper API. I come from Columbia, Missouri, and uh, after college, I worked briefly as a high-frequency trader before I got into freelance development. And when I started doing a lot of these freelance web scraping jobs, I realized that it's just a lot of work to get set up with uh, all the IP addresses, the browsers, and all that sort of stuff. And so I built Scraper API to make this process really simple for developers. So Scraper API uses uh, Kubernetes because we we originally started on um, a lot of smaller hosting providers like uh, Node Chef and stuff, where you could kind of just get deploy. Um, but we kind of quickly outgrew that, and then we had to find a much more scalable solution. Um, I happened upon DigitalOcean, and I really like the simplicity of the service and the transparent pricing. Um, and so I ended up using DeployBot um, in conjunction with DigitalOcean uh, to sort of do deployments. Uh, I would push to GitHub, and then it would deploy it to like uh, DeployBot, and then DeployBot would like send it to DigitalOcean. Um, and this was great until we had like 200, like 250 servers, and DeployBot like we would freeze their entire like SaaS product because we were like using so much CPU. And then they would like angrily email us. And so we had to stop doing that and like find another solution. And that solution ended up being Kubernetes on DigitalOcean, um, which thankfully worked extremely well. Um, we actually transitioned to Kubernetes right during COVID. And so actually it was a, a very, strange time to be transitioning because everything was kind of falling apart, but like DigitalOcean Kubernetes was actually just a very simple product and, and the transition period was much more smooth than I thought. And now like the system, we we barely, we used to spend maybe, you know, 50% of our engineering effort thinking about scaling because we're growing at a rate of maybe uh, 10 to 15% a month. Um, but now that we're on Kubernetes, we can kind of scale up and down really easily and we, we spend maybe like five to 10% of our engineering time thinking about scaling and, and the rest actually being able to uh, build new features and, and do support and things, things like that. Um, in general, in the future, I think we're going to look into a lot more of these sort of instance types that DigitalOcean offers. Like we, uh, we, we've kind of been like flying by the seat of our pants um, due to like the high level of growth. Uh, so, we haven't had a lot of time to explore these sorts of um, other uh, droplet types. Um, we haven't really done a lot of experimentation on what types of like instances do best for us. Uh, but in general, like the ease of like scaling up and down has just been uh, extremely, extremely helpful um, for us in our startup. In terms of like future developments, we're starting to scale out, uh, scale up our team. Um, we're going from maybe five engineers to maybe hopefully doubling that sort of team. Uh, we have a full-time DevOps guy now um, who uh, is in charge of handling a lot of um, the DigitalOcean Kubernetes stuff. Um, he's also in charge of moving our databases from third-party hosting to uh, the DigitalOcean managed hosting. Um, he's in charge of uh, doing a lot of stuff that uh, you know we kind of always use default off the shelf things uh, like um, like Nginx ingress and, and all that sort of stuff. And, and we're sort of starting to really evaluate whether these solutions are, are good for our business because um, we handle maybe eight, eight, nine billion requests, API requests per month. And we push maybe 300 terabytes of bandwidth. So it's a sort of specialized application. And so, um, now, now that we have a bit of time because uh, our infrastructure is a lot more solid, we're going to take a, a look at some of these um, uh, things that are more built for scale. Well, thanks for taking a listen, guys. And um, if there's any questions that you have, you can always email me at uh, dan at scraperapi.com. Um, I've honestly been super happy with the service. If you have any question about um, you know, scaling SaaS or just getting into being a bootstrap startup in general, I'm um, more than happy to answer any of those.